L'Oreal, what's up with y'all? Red Cafe bagged her up. There's nothing wrong with that. So is there any chance of you and her reconciling and whatnot? For what? She got a better chance of me extorting her. I was supposed to be a dude, though. <laughs> really? Yeah, my mentality is just different, mm. you know? You think you have a big dick if you chest was a dude? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I got a big dick now and I ain't a dude. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is. Yeah. What's going on? It's your girl Erica Menno from bh ones Loving Hip Hop, and you're checking ThisIs50.com. Where do we go from here? <laughs>
give him credit from everything from Ryan Leslie, <laughs> Cassie. Like, yeah, he really has something to do with that shit. Yes. Okay. I'm and Ryan to... Leslie is classic. Like, there would be no Ryan Leslie in no way without Rich. Oh. Really? Yeah. I mean, I want to say I'm right on that. You want to say that? I want to this say that. I believe I am. <laughs> this, is this what he told you or this what you know? <laughs> yeah, this is what my heart says. Fuck what y'all think. <laughs> okay. All right, cool, cool. That's what you, you, you riding with this nigga for real. You know what? You believe this light-skinned nigga. No, you know what it is? Is that, especially this industry, a lot of dudes cheat and they're like, you know, they have their long years of marriage and this and they buy their wife's dad and that doesn't really mean much when they out there like being, you know, cheating on you and lying to you and mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Not really appreciating you and with Rich, it just so happens I have not only a dope business partner, but I have a friend and I have somebody that believes in me enough that instead of buying me the world, he actually wants to make my ultimate dream come true, mm. which is the music stuff. And I don't know if you heard the single on iTunes, but pretty much nailed it. I own that shit. Do you like it? Yeah, I jack off to it all the time. It's a good jack off song. As long as you get it in your eyes. Yes, that's, I, that's how I love <laughs> so it. you don't know where the hell you going. Exactly. From there. That's what you did for me. <laughs> but I have to go with what's right and it felt like People are not gonna expect this I mean, it sounds me. like a dope record. It does. The record's crazy. She sounded good. <laughs> so what's up with him and his, uh, this child support thing? And... He's handling it. Or... Yeah, I'm proud of him and, and the way he's handling it. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, it's a catch-22. You gotta, uh, I put myself in both shoes, so I don't really like to kind of talk about it Man, talk much. about this nigga business now. You, you helping him. <laughs> um, with Rich, it's just, he just so happened to be on TV and somebody, oh my God, I think my kid looks like him and then he ran with it. The child is kind of being used more as a pawn instead of, you know, the real reason why you should want the father to kind of step up. Do Rich got that bread? Rich does good for himself. How many uh, bedrooms is his apartment? <laughs> it's like a three bedroom. What? Mm -hmm. okay. One of them I took over. Y'all live together. And then we got a special room for our twin bed. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Do y'all be having threesomes? Oh God. Cause I, it's something gay about you. I know you. I know you like yeah, girls I a little mean, bit. Women are beautiful. Uh huh. When Ooh. last time you been with a girl? I don't know. This morning. <laughs> What's the worst advice you ever got? All money is good money because it's not true. It's not true. Mm -mm. What kind of money have you gotten that was bad? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, especially in this industry, I think you know, especially females, they get kind of caught up in just not really realizing their values. Mm. And they think, okay, I'll just take it because it's for the money, not realizing that that instantly depreciates everything else coming, you know? Mm. So you can take a quick check or you can take your integrity. Hey, take that check, ladies. <laughs> take that motherfucking check. Hey, and like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something. You gotta be Eric Amina. Love and hip hop, we over and we out of here. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss the moles in the mouth.